Cooking up. Ah, this is cooking up. Today I'm going to make deep fried chicken uh, marinated with fermented tofu. Okay. Now, as the name suggests, um, Chinese is called nan ru ji. Okay, nan ru ji. Nan ru is the fermented tofu here. So you can see I have two from two two pieces of fermented tofu here. Um, actually, we, I'm supposed to use one red and one white fermented tofu. Fermented mean bean curd. But I run off my red color ones. And this dish is supposed to be a bit reddish. So I actually replace it with uh, two uh, white fermented tofu with one teaspoon of uh, Korean chili paste. Okay, so if you have if you have the uh, red red color uh, fermented tofu at home, just use that will do. Okay, um, so this is my our in let's mix the ingredient first. The fermented tofu is very very salty, all right. So you actually have to add some about half tablespoon of sugar and let's give it some uh, pepper if you have five spice powder you can put five spice powder I ran out of it so I'm just adding a bit of uh, cinnamon and give it a bit of light soy sauce not too much because light soy sauce will make will make your chicken become very dark and you want to add in the rice wine to dissolve things together okay all right so you want to dissolve it and make it into a paste so that you can use the paste to marinate your your chicken okay remember this can be very very salty so uh, later at the end of the day when we want to uh, uh, before you want to fry the chicken you may want to uh, remove um, the paste the excess paste over your chicken okay all right I'm going to also add an egg inside and some cornstarch not too much mix everything all up the color will be more reddish if you have the red color fermented bean okay fermented bean curd but don't worry when it comes to home cooking no rule okay remember in Apa's kitchen there's no rule somebody even uh, commented Apa sometimes uh, when i uh, use a, a spoon to cook it doesn't look so good well home cooking is who cares how it looks okay well i don't care all right and you put your chicken in remember if you have a red fermented bean curd you don't have to add the korean korean paste okay the korean chili paste so you mix everything all up somehow if you want to dissolve your bean curd your fermented bean curd it's always easy to use rice wine than water uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's probably the substance in the the rice wine that you can actually uh, dissolve uh, your uh, dissolve the thing better. Dissolve the uh, fermented bean curd. Yeah. All right. There you go. And I'm going to uh, cover this, uh, cover this, and then put it and put it in uh, in the fridge for at least like one or two hours. Then we will go and deep fry it. All right, we come in after this. All right, here's our chicken um, marinated after two hours, and uh, now we need to actually cover the chicken with a very thin layer of uh, flour, a flour here. Okay, so uh, you don't have 
you don't need to, uh, you can actually get rid of the excess um, gravy here because uh, the gravy can be a bit too, uh, too salty. Alright, so very, just let it cover some very thin layer, that would be enough. Okay, just do like that. Okay, you want, don't want the excess gravy. Give it some thin layer of powder. Okay. The same with all. Then you are going to use the uh, medium heat oil to uh, deep fry it. Okay. So we'll come back after this. Okay, so I have coated all my chickens with a very very thin layer of flour and I actually purposely leave it there for say about 5-10 minutes to let the, uh, the flour to really uh, uh, stay on the, the uh, settle down on the surface of the chicken so that later the flour will not really uh, goes off very easily So I have here one pot of oil and we want to um, deep fry using medium heat why medium heat because the ingredient the, the, such as the fermented bean curd will actually uh, make the chicken become very dark and uh, char very easily so you don't want very high heat okay you want about medium heat how do we know it's medium heat we want about 140 to 150 degree so this is how you know um, use a chopstick, put it inside and you see bubbles and this is firstly, secondly you don't see any smoke coming up so this is what we call medium heat which is about 140 to 150 degree exactly the heat, the kind of heat we wanted okay so I may or may not do a double fry I will look at the situation later, I'll decide later alright so now we can actually slowly put in our chicken Okay, I'm going to do two times. Alright, so we're going to, you can see the color coming out very nicely. If you, are, if you have the red, uh, of course the red um, fermented bean curd, you can get more reddish color. Okay, okay. so we'll come back after this, it will take a couple of minutes. Yeah. Okay, this is after about 10 minutes deep frying. We are getting all the beautiful golden brown color. Uh, it is definitely ready. I don't think I need to double fry again, alright? Because the, I, I'm already getting the kind of color that I want. Okay, so I'm going to take, take it out one by one. I feel a little drumstick here. I'll give it some very nice golden brown color. This should be alright. Okay, so this is ready as well. Done. And lastly, it's done. Okay. So there you go. Uh, this is my um, 
deep fried chicken with uh, marinated with fermented uh, bean curd. Yeah. Nan ru, nan ru, sa ji. Okay. So if you like my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page. You click above the like and follow button. Go to Cooking Up Our Facebook uh, YouTube channel to follow, to uh, subscribe to my channel there and, and press the uh, notification button and follow Up Our on Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye.